Some Cobb County residents say they welcome new neighbors, but this time this is just way too much. They say their whole area is crowded with Canada geese. Channel 2's Baron Peterson went to Spindletop Drive to see it for himself. And or new, all new since 4 o'clock, the experts weigh in on what to do. Folks who live in this neighborhood say seeing the birds can be kind of nice, but stepping in what they leave behind, not so nice. Sophia Johnson is a nature lover. But she has her limits. Every summer, they started increasing. They kept coming back, and more and more geese start coming, and you start seeing their little poo poo stuff all over the place. Sophia says 20 years ago, what started with two Canada geese in this Cobb County neighborhood along Spindletop Drive is around 52 today. And every year they come back, they bring more friends. They do tend to grow in numbers. Our statewide population is still growing. Georgia DNR waterfowl biologist Greg Balcom says there are many methods to get them to go away, but there are a couple that seem to work best. Stop all the feeding. There are always some neighbors that like to feed geese. Stop feeding the geese. Uh, get permits to destroy nests and eggs, and that reduces the reproduction. And typically, those two things in combination. Can, can do a, a great deal of success. You telling everybody to move away from me? Just don't come over here, okay? But there will be a problem. Sophia's been documenting the invasion of sorts. How many is too many? Sophia says this many. When they start having their babies, it's crazy because they'll, you know, they want to protect their family, of course, and they start hissing at you. Like, and I call them the killer geese. Uh uh. <laughs> I, don't, I don't mess with them. Sophia and some of her neighbors say they may ask their HOA to try some of the techniques. Get those birds to beat it. Reporting in Cobb County, Barrett Peterson, Channel 2 Action News.